Today we're going to make crispy chorizo with these lovely always fresh paquilla peppers. First of all, we're just going to take a chili and just remove the seeds. Just roll it in your hand here. Just give it a tap and it gets out nearly all the seeds. And we're just going to chop half of it up nice and fine. A couple of seeds aren't too, too bad. But that's where all the heat is, so you don't really want to have too much heat in there. We'll just chop it up nice and fine. Okay, and that's ready to go. Next, we're going to take these um, lovely, always fresh Pukio peppers and uh, tip the whole contents into the pot. Okay, we'll just tip those in. And now we're just going to add a little bit of brown sugar, just for a little bit of added sweetness. A bit of paprika. Our chopped chilli. And a squirt of lemon. Just a that little bit of acidity. And we just grab a stick blender. If you have just a, a normal small blender, it's fine, just use that. And then we'll just blend it all up until it's nice and smooth. Okay, so once this is nice and smooth, there's no lumps in it, all the garlic and chili has been blended up. There you go, that's done. We're just gonna bring it up to a simmer and we'll simmer it for about three or four minutes. Next, we're gonna tackle the chorizo. What we're gonna do first is take away the skin. I've just dampened the skin down a little bit with some water, which will help come off easily. Just run the knife along here. Just don't cut too far in. Just trim one end off. And then with any luck, it'll come away nice and easy. If you leave the skin on, what happens is when we grill it, it's just going to curl up. It's not gonna be grilled nice and evenly. Let's see what we've done here. It just comes off nice. There you go. It's a nice satisfying sound when you hear that. It all comes off in one piece. All right, we'll just put that one over there. All right, we're just gonna cut this on a slight angle. Nice long pieces. Not too thin, otherwise you'll end up with something that's really, really crispy, but not too thick as it'll just, it, it won't cook evenly. It'll, it'll end up being very fatty. Last couple of slices. Okay, now we've got the griddle pan really hot. We're gonna just place the chorizo nicely spaced and just let it go for a little while. Probably gonna take about three, maybe four minutes on each side. You wanna get it nice and crisp on the outside, but still keep it nice and soft in the middle. Give it that little bit of change in texture. Now the chorizo's been on for about five minutes. It's nice and crispy on the outside. We're gonna plate it up and start with the sauce. So the sauce has been warming up just on the stove. And we're just actually gonna put in a little bit of parsley just for a little bit of color. Just give it a stir. Now we'll just spoon it in nicely along the bottom of the plate here. There we go. And then we'll just take our chorizo and just place it nicely around the, on top of the sauce. Nice and neatly. All right, we'll just finish with a little bit of parsley, a side of paprika, and a little bit of bread. It's lovely. 